Hi everyone, happy Thanksgiving, I'm Sophia, welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make couscous in a simple way, using simple ingredients. As you can see, I have tomato, cucumber, onion, and jalapeno pepper. You can use any kind of pepper that you would wish. I don't have habanero, this is what I'm using, jalapeno and I'm using salmon fish. I'm already washed the salmon fish season and it's ready to be fried. I am not going to show this frying of this salmon on this video because I just want to do it really quick and fast and then I will show you how it looks. Okay guys, the fish is going. I'm now going to show you the simple way that you can make your couscous in a very fast way as well. I know some people like to boil water, put this thing, empty it here, bring it here. I don't have time for that. So I like to do my thing simple way because if you make things simple way, it's easy for people to learn. So I have one cup and a half couscous over here. I'm going to pour water over this. I'm going to stir it. And then I'll give it a few minutes in here. And then I'm going to drain the water. And then this is how you want it to look. You're going to go ahead and sprinkle salt or seasoning bouillon. I'm using seasoning bouillon, so I don't need to add salt. After adding this, you're going to go ahead and bring oil if you wish to. So, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a couple of tablespoons on this. And then... I will stir it, make sure everything is combined, and then I will cover it, pop it into the microwave, cover it up, and let it cook until it's ready. But I'm going to keep my eye on it. If it's not ready to the number I put it on, I'm going to put it back so that it can get the right texture that I'm looking for. So this is simple. This is how you want to do it. So I will show you right now. I'm going to put it in the microwave. So I'm putting it in the microwave. And I will put it on three, number three. And let it go for a few minutes. And I will come back to check it out. So while the couscous and the fish is going, I'm going to go ahead and chop the vegetables. I know we all know how to chop vegetables. But I'm just going to show you an example and then I'm going to use the other one. I'm going to chop the other one I meant off camera. Yeah, and I put this towel under this because I don't want this to slide off. So I will start with one tomato and I'm going to chop it very, very fine. I hope you can see me. Chop it fine, or you can chop it any way you wish. But this is how I love to chop mine. Yeah, I am not fast in chopping, and this is why I don't like to chop anything on camera. But I just want to show you how actually I'm going to chop this. Or you can do it the way you wish to. Yeah. So this is how I'm going to chop the tomatoes. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to chop the onions as well. Everything going to be about the same size. Yeah. So this is the onion chop and the hot opinion going to also be the same size. This is how I'm going to chop the pepper 
and I'm going to show you now how I'm actually going to chop the cucumber. The cucumber will be about the same size or maybe bigger than that. So this is how I'm going to chop the cucumber and I'm going to go ahead to do it like this to make it very fine and I'm going to mix everything and show it to you so that you can see. So you can chop your own anyway. As you hear in the beep, it's the microwave is ready and I'm going to go check on the couscous right now. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the couscous. You see, it's nice and fluffy. Very easy, simple to make. So you don't need to drive yourself crazy doing this and doing that. You just do simple thing. Yeah, so this is it. So I'm going to set it aside until when the fish is ready and the ingredients ready. Then I will show you it on a plate and then we'll begin eating. All right, thank you. Okay guys, it's time to eat. All the ingredients have been prepped and ready. The couscous is ready. The fish is ready. The onion is chopped, pepper chopped, green onion chopped, and cucumber chopped. Now I'm going to show you how I normally do mine at home here. But you can also put your uh, couscous onto the plate, sprinkle all the ingredients that you have, and sprinkle some oil and salt. But I like to mix all my ingredients, including the season that I'm going to put on it before I put it on the couscous. Yeah, so I'm going to remove this. Remove the couscous. Remove this oil because I need space. And I'm going to bring this. So I'm going to sprinkle all the seasoning over here onto this. This is the chicken flavor the yellow one and this is what I like to use with this recipe and I'm going to bring quarter teaspoon of salt be mindful because in the couscous we sprinkle some seasoning there so you don't want this to be too salty you want to make it just right so whenever anybody is eating it they can just add salt for themselves so you don't want it salty so I'm going to go ahead and put some couple of tablespoon over here and when I do it like this I don't have to sprinkle oil on the couscous again so the oil into this vegetable will help us to eat um, the couscous yeah so that is enough so I'm going to go ahead and look for a clean spoon and I'll be right back so I'm going to mix all the ingredients into this season oh my goodness I can't wait to stop to start eating this amen this is so good look good smells good I just love the different kinds of color you guys know I'm a colorful girl so I love to deal with colorful stuff okay but this has been mixed now I'm going to set it aside and I will be right back to show you the next process so my taste tester said this is okay so i'm not going to add any seasoning not a salt so i'm going to remove this and put this over here going to add a couscous this is a family bowl guys sometimes it feels good when the family eat together yeah I'm going to spread this over here and I'm going to go ahead and add the vegetables And then I will keep the other one just in case if the kids need more vegetable, they're gonna go ahead 
to add it on theirs. Yeah, but for now, this is good. After adding the vegetables, going to go ahead and add the fish. So this is it, guys. So this is how I make my couscous. And if you like this video, please do not hesitate. Make sure you watch this video from the beginning to the end. And if you like the way I make mine, you can go ahead and put it to practice and do the same. With that being said, happy Thanksgiving. Remain blessed. Stay blessed. God bless you. And I will see you back on my next video. Bye.